Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back for another episode. We've got some 2020 Topps Chrome update. Three mega boxes here this afternoon. Hope you guys are doing well on this Saturday. But here we go. Let's dig the cleats in. Let's see if we can hit a monster. First box coming. Had somebody asked me what they thought about Topps Chrome Update, and I said, if you see it, buy it. Either keep it sealed and hold off, see what happens, or open it, store it away. Every year, go back and look at the prices of 17, look at the prices of 18, look at the prices of 19, and I expect next year at this time, these boxes will be a hundred bucks a piece. I bought a decent amount of 19 and had a chance to buy way more and didn't. And boy, I wish I would have, but you can't look back. Keep moving forward, just getting these three open. So here we go. See if we can, see what we can pull today. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hoping to make a deal tomorrow to pick up some product, that big lot that I was talking about yesterday. That's the plan. And right off the rip, let's get that off of there. A little wrapper. It's a good start. First card, first pack. Got a Randy. Kaboom. Hopefully this guy hits a lot of kabooms this year and that card's going to go nuts. Bagwell, Yachty, Pujols. So a nice little start there. Each row on the back. Whoa. I will say it's been tougher to pull parallels in this. It's a rookie, Anthony Davis. That Ichiro has a nice line down it. Didn't look like the Randy had the line down it. Tommy Pham. Insert Gavin Lux. Not bad. Aguilar. And that'll go on my PC. Mills. Saw the Cubs are uh, sending Nico Horner. Option him to the minors. I have a feeling that he'll be back up after his service time is over so they can save a year. And I tell you what, the Players Union really needs to sit down. And speaking of Nico Horner, there he is. The Players Union really needs to sit down and get rid of that nonsense, man. It's, I mean, I get why they do it as a business. They, you can't gain, you keep control of the player for another year. I'm going to sleeve this Lux debut. But, man, it really is frustrating. Imagine being Nico Horner. You're good enough to be in the pros, and they're going to send you down. They did that with Chris Bryant. I'm sure uh, the, the Rays are doing – there's a Bryce Harper. The Rays are doing the same thing with Wander Franco to keep that service. I mean, it saves them a lot of money, and it gives them an extra year of control. I mean, Chris Bryant would not be with the Cubs if it wasn't for that. It was a big meat Pete cup. DeGrom, Harper, a couple studs there. Last pack of the first box. But next Thursday, baseball kicking off. Here's an Ozzie Albies insert. Big Mac. And Brennan McKay, rookie. Debut, second box. It's been tough pulling parallels out of these. There's another, I think they had a fam in the first one. Would like to see a couple Grishams instead of a fam. I still didn't understand why they put David Price in update when he didn't even play. Rookie King. And there's a Lou Bomb. Kaboom! Little bit of scratch on that one. I can see that through the camera. We'll see if we can buff that out later, but 
So we pulled the big two. I'll take as many as those as possible. Let's put the big two right here. I mean, who would have thought that the Tatis debut from Topps Chrome Update would be so big? And again, the Lubob card could be an absolute monster. Another Lux debut. If he comes out, if he comes out and he starts hitting right away, his prices are going to go nuts. So Juan Soto. You better like that. Javi Baez. And we had a Howard to finish that pack off. Rugman. Big Meat Peak Cup number two. Cal. Rookie Zach Green. I did a bunch of organizing, put some cards away, started looking at my next PSA submission. Figured I want to open up, like, that's the bad thing about having PSA submissions. You kind of want to open up what you have and what you plan on buying before you send. Because the minute you send it up and then you open something, you're like, man, I wish I'd have sent it with it. And then you're, I'm waiting the next month. Thames. Kipness. So I'm telling you, it's been... In these uh in this update this year, pulling a parallel is you gotta buy a lot. Another rookie there. Insert Tatis, so that's not bad. We got a Tatis insert and a Juan Soto insert. Cortez, there's Griffey Jr. And here we go. Last box. Nice little Saturday afternoon here. Another Thames. Rookie. And there's a Grisham. So we hit the trio. The Grisham, the Randy, and the Lou Bob. Got these three from my brother-in-law. He picked them up tar on Target.com. And I picked those up when we were down there. And again, in that lot that I bought, there's a... Uh, there's some of these in the lot that I'm, I haven't bought them yet, but I'm buying them tomorrow. A couple rookies right there in that pack. So I think there's three or four more of these boxes in that lot. Ian Miller for my Cubby PC. Tops Chrome Update. Marte, and there is a nice one. The Lou Bob insert. Sleeve that. And then right underneath it was the Solak debut. I'm going to sleeve that. Three packs to go. Again, thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Any support would be much appreciated. Pilar. Stanton. Glaber Day. Ken Griffey Jr. Some studs in that pack. A couple, couple Yankee studs in that last pack. Johnny Bench insert. Ortiz, Eric Davis, and last pack, Mojo. See what we can get here. There's a Yankees Hall of Famer, Derek Jeter, Pedro, Judge, Jury, the Executioner, and Starlin Castro. So, had that big ol'. Stack of base. Had the couple veteran stud inserts, Juan Soto and Tatis. I'll sleeve those in a little bit. Had the Gavin Lux as well. 
Here's some of the rookies that I was putting aside that I sleeve. Solak, Lux debut, and Nico Horner for my PC. I was sorting out the inserts as we were going. Of kind of the, we had the stack of rookies. Won't go through those, but here we go. The big, the big hits, the Lou Bob insert. Lou Bomb, kaboom! Randy, the sticking machine. I love this card better than his uh, Cardinals one. And the Grisham, but the card, in my opinion, it's going to be a toss-up. This card could be a big, big card if he goes off. And, I mean, Lou Bob's already got the hype. See if the White Sox can make the playoffs. But overall, pretty happy with that little... Uh, Picking up the big three out of the product, plus the insert, and a lot more. So, again, thanks for tuning in. More to come next week. More to come. Uh, maybe even tomorrow. I'm supposed to meet this guy to buy this all this product. So, we will see. But, again, hit that notification bell. Subscribe so you know when videos hit or if I go live. Again, I appreciate it, guys. Take care of yourselves, and until next time, peace.